and two ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. This came out at a really weird time because I haven't been here all weekend. That's why this is delayed. I just got back from visiting Felix today. Yesterday to you by the time you watch this, but I just got back today. I was gone away all weekend. The day I flew out, this dropped. And I was kind of annoyed because I couldn't play it right then and there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it now. I, I'm curious to see what this is going to be like. I've played all the FNAF games on the channel. I've never finished any of them on the channel. I apologize for that, but mainly because I lose interest or the games get to get unnecessarily hard or anything. But I've heard good things about this, so I'm gonna get in with, with an open mind and play it and see what it's like. And it's going to be very, very interesting. Okay, let's why continue. I don't have a continue. Night one. Please don't scare me, but please do at the same time, because that's the whole point Daddy, of the games. Why won't you let me play with her? What was that? I mean, not the girl. Welcome the to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad in screws, bolts, and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. <laughs> I will be your personal guide to help you get started. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue, Hand and unit? endless janitorial opportunities. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. Mike? As in Mike Schmidt? Also, that dude's voice, is that literally just the exact same dude from that Portal mod I played? Is the Portal Stories Mel? I've played two portal like mods or custom stories on the channel at one point and one of them has a narrator that is literally that exact voice so that's all I can think about now when I hear that is portal um can I just put in Jack okay let's see if I can put in Mike where the fuck is the M uh, let's put in D uh, U uh, S T my name is it Dust seems that you had some trouble with the keypad I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's that's me. Good old Eggs Benedict. Good old Jack Septa Benedict. <laughs> Just call me Eggs Benedict from now on, please. That's all I want to be known as. Eggs Benedict are fucking delicious, by the way. Also, this is freaky. I haven't seen much of this game. I've seen little gameplay segments here and there, so I don't really know what to expect. And obviously, I've seen the trailer and what the the animatronics look like. That's um. Oh God, what's their names? I you remember. You can now open the elevator using that bright red and obvious button. Let's Dude. get to work. All I can hear is portal. Um, it's really weird though that I'm talking to an AI this time. Let's go. That's that's bad news written all over it already. Danger, danger. Ooh, this is exciting! Allow me to fill this somewhat frightening silence with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive Ooh. success, and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day, and it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. Okay, so... It is called Sister Location, after all. Um, and because I'm late to this as well, everyone probably knows what's going on already, and I, everyone's just sitting here laughing at me like- primary control module. It's actually a crawl space between Ew. the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window Access to your left. Denied. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light <laughs> and see if Ballora is on stage. Press do the blue we, button have on to? the elevated keypad to your left. Um, <laughs> yeah, get kids active, but also eat our pizza. So you could say we're promoting healthy fitness. There's no one there. Uh oh, it looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. <laughs> Why would you do that? There's a pep in my step, and I don't know why. <laughs> okay, electric go! Oh, I saw the reflection of these fuckers. Let's check the light again. What did I do? I clicked them. Oh, the noses. 
That's what makes it fucking sick ass beatboxing. Because I remember in the first one, or in all the other games, you could click noses. Oh, that's a baby crying. Or a very tiny bird getting choked. So what do you make? Nothing. Do you do one? No. Do you? <laughs> oh, that's fucking weird. But also really awesome. Okay, let's look again. There she is. Excellent. Ballora is feeling like her old Ballora, self. Ballora, that was the name. Ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Okay, this I already... Like, already, it's a bit more involving than the other ones were, because you're not sitting here listening to, Hello, hello, fucking phone guy. I know it was Scott all along, but Jesus Christ, that got obnoxious. After two games, it was like, okay, let the phone guy go. Um, so I like that it's like, it's very clearly inspired by Portal doing all the like, you are now entering kind of thing, and like the subversive humor or whatever. Are you not going to be here as well? Um, so I like that there's different voice actors. About fucking time. Yeah, there either. Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. That's electric Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Yes! Haha! <laughs> now it's my turn to fight back against the animatronics. <laughs> Die, bitch! <laughs> I mean, I'm going to regret that eventually. We're Let's not there. Try another controlled shock. Can we just? <laughs> Come on, Foxy! Don't you like that sound? <laughs> I like that sound. <laughs> there they are. Looks like Funtime Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job. In front of you is another <laughs> vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the circus gallery control module. I don't know, man. Also, the fan fucking got bigger. The fan was like the thing that was in all the games. Can I not go through these? Last time you said access denied and it sounded like GLaDOS. You take a little inspiration there, Scotty boy. Go faster. Am I, am I gonna regret that? <laughs> Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. Oh God! Yeah, actually, it doesn't sound well. It kind of does, but if you've ever seen Pacific Rim, it sounds like the voice in that, which I think is just Ellen Ellen McLean. Is that her voice that does GLaDOS? I think it's just the same voice anyway, but it sounds like that, like, double event. That's kind of pulling me out of the game, because now I'm not immersed. All I can think about is Portal and Pacific Rim. Here we go. Now I'm climbing On through the, the vents. the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is Aww. up to. Your noses don't do anything. You're boring. Is Circus Baby not going to be here either? Nah. Why would she like be? A few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. <laughs> cheer up, Baby! Here! Zap! Because <laughs> if anything, I've seen people getting tased. Don't tase me, bro! There's no light in there that time. Ah, oh, man, I can't just do it endlessly. Come on. Jesus Christ. Somebody is playing a fucking badass song on this synth pad. Let's try another controlled shock. Hell yeah! This is cool though, because other times it's like you're sitting in the room and the animatronics come to you. So this time, they're sitting in the rooms and you go to them. That's a cool mechanic. Is she there? Let's try another controlled shock. Is this her? She looks like Harley Quinn. I don't want to electrocute a baby! But uh, he says as he does it anyway. Also, I should point out that I'm still kind of sick. You can probably hear it in my voice already. I'm on the arse end of the sickness. So, I got up, got down with the sickness, and now I'm just like, I'm sick of that song, move on. Um, but I might still sound a little nasal. It's not coming out, bro. circus, baby. We knew we could count on you. <laughs> that concludes your duties for your first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed. Otherwise, you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Is that it? Is... You're really not gonna come out? Come on! I'm, I'm here! Do, doing my thing! I'm, I'm here! Well, out the vent we go! Is that really the first night done? Oh no, we got... 
The fuck was that? Oh, now it's getting scary. Jesus Christ! Okay. Oh, God! Go, go, go! I can't look behind me! Circus Gallery event. Ah, stop it! Shift complete! Yeah! I like the fucking 80s music. Enjoy some time at home! I will! Ah, I like being at home. Oh, it's a lot less stressful than being out there. Another day, another dramatic entry in the lives of Vlad and his distressed mistress. Where What's will happening? they go? What will they do? All of that and more happening now. I can just eat popcorn! Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. You're the only vampire I've ever loved. <laughs> the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> this is awesome. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down. What does it matter? You need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. <laughs> well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat. Will Vlad and his distressed mistress what the find fuck? common ground? Tune in next time. Oh, a nice artifact. That completely clashes with the rest of whatever the hell was going on. I like it though. I like those shitty, cheesy shows. Or actually, I like when people make. Let the other children go see her. Why won't you let me go? There's like a. In the background, whenever that happens. Welcome back for another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal I'm back! career choices, and self reflection on past mistakes. No problem. We're Keep committed back. to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. For male, press 1. For female, <laughs> press 2. There's no numbers! For text only, <laughs> press 3. For other options, press 4. Uh, I'm impressed, Jay! Uh, I want a jack -a boy voice! All the time when you're in there, it's like, Hey! Go over! Turn on the light! No! Shock him! <laughs> the entire- Could you imagine if it was a, uh, a jack -a boy voice? God! You would not want to work here! That's how you saw people working at Five Nights at Freddy's. You put my voice in there. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. Shocker. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for choosing... Angsty Teen. <laughs> Is it gonna be Reaper? Oh god, you can go in and see the fucking- You can go in and see the animatronics if you want, whatever, I don't even care. I go over to stay Steve's house. Go in, go in there and check on Freddy. Oh god, he's not even my real dad. <laughs> Please let that be the voice. We had the surfer dude in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Can I leave? These things do something! But I can't click on them and do anything. What else can I click on? There's usually shit to click on in all these games. Let's get in! <laughs> uh, right, okay. Wait, so. The is elevator that all stopped. You know the routine. You can get out now or whatever. <laughs> Stay here if you want. Nice. You could have gotten a little bit more angsty. I could have. I could have done a bit more of like a Chad or like uh, whatever Greg kind of thing. But it, it's it's good. It's good. I like it. Um, so what are the mechanics? Like, how do I avoid getting scared? I- I didn't do anything the first night. Through the danger signs we go, I guess. Some killer so, clowns. funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so, not that funny, but... It's a story. Ha 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 ha! I laugh at his story! <laughs> this sounds like an XD teen, alright. Um... Oh, I was gonna say, oh, I was gonna say some killer clowns are gonna come and kill you. That's like a thing going around on the internet right now, isn't it? Um, wait, can I just sprint through this? What am I looking out for? I don't know how to avoid the jump scares yet. I don't know what they are. I just powered through that vent. I'm like a baby on all fours, just- Okay, let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. <laughs> you can check in her, I guess, but whatever. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> oh, she's there, kinda. Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Why? No! She was being all nice, she was just... 
She's just in the shadows, bro. The angsty teen should know all about being in the shadows. Ugh. My life is endless torment. Everything around me hurts. No one understands my plight. Hashtag 15 years old. <laughs> Sorry! Oh. Oh, I don't like that sound. What the fuck? This is freaky. What was that? Let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. I'm not done checking on Ballora! We didn't see if she showed up! Okay. You're in the shadow as well! Great. 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 Shame! Shame! There Ding. seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. Default settings have been restored. Please proceed through the vent ahead of you to Circus Baby's Auditorium. I miss Chad. I liked when Chad was here. Can we have him back? Please? Do you do anything? This is fun. So far, I'm not scared. <laughs> uh, right, okay. There we go. Oh, I didn't check! Man, one last for the- Oh, just keep out here too! Oh! That's cool. One more for the road. <laughs> okay, come on, circus baby. I'm gonna trigger a motion detector again. Motion trigger. Circus gallery vent. Circus gallery vent. Thank you, Glados. Power through. Circus baby had a busy day today. Let's check the light and make sure she's in proper working order. Is she all tuckered out? Does she need a snoozer snooze? She's not oh, there. Circus Baby, we aren't here to play hide and seek. Let's encourage Baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. There's a keypad here as well! Ooh! Secrets! I feel secrets! <coughs> it don't work! Let's try another controlled shock. Another? The first one didn't work. Crap. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. Oh, Jesus. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Oh, Jesus. Various other systems may be offline as well, such as security doors, vent <laughs> locks, and oxygen. Oh, of course, Commencing thank you. Commencing system restart. Oh, balls. Also, is that Balloon Boy? Motion trigger, entryway vent. Oh Front no! Gallery, maintenance vent opened. Ballora Gallery, maintenance vent opened. Oh fuck! Oh no! There's a weird sound. I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do, to come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this. Willingly. Maybe curiosity? Maybe ignorance. Money! <laughs> there is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted mm. it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry, though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. Oh God! It will be over soon. They will lose interest. What will be over soon? Who's they? Let's see who came before me. Under the desk. That's informative. Oh Jesus! Grab here, click and drag. Oh! Nito. Oh, that sounds freaky! Oh, oh God, I don't like that! Hi! Oh, there's something there. Where'd it go? Someone is inside. No, I'm not. I 
swear. Is this the same person? No! That was, that was Mike! I'm Dave! Fuck you! Oh, fucking Jesus Christ! Oh god, that's freaky! Said not to keep eye contact though. Uh, who's there? Oh, no, no! No, you fucking don't! No! I have the grip of a, a lion! Force of nature! Yeah! No one come in my safe space! My safe space! Bullyproof windows! I'm singing to get rid of the tension. What? Fuck off! Stop opening my door! I don't want you in my personal space! This is my cubby hole! Get your own! Who care if one time Foxy makes fun of you because you have short legs? Stay out there! Yay! No, 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 no! Come on, come on, come on! Yes! The power of love! She's watching us. Who? <laughs> bye bye now. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh God. When your guide <laughs> comes back online, he is going to tell you that he was unsuccessful, that you must restart the system manually. He will then tell you to crawl through Ballora Gallery as fast as you can to reach the breaker room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. Oh God! Ballora will not return to her stage anymore. She will catch you. The power will be restored shortly. When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, go slowly. She cannot see you, and can only listen for your movement. When you hear her music become louder, she is growing near, listening for you. Wait, and be still. Oh Jesus Christ! Thank you for your patience. It seems that the power system cannot be restarted automatically. You will need to restart the power system manually. Please return to the primary control module. Okay, do I have to open this? Try to open- oh, S to go back. How? There's no vent behind me. She said not to listen to his advice though. But then she told me to do the fucking thing he's telling me to do anyway. That was freaky! Who is that? Also! Have any of you watched the movie Ex Machina? It's a really, really good movie. It's about a dude who goes in and he talks to, like, a synthetic. Like, a, a lady who's a robot, but you don't know if she's, like, part human, part robot kind of thing. And she talks back. It's the exact same thing as this. She almost has the exact same voice as well. It's like, do you believe that I am real? Kind of thing. And she's like, it's, it's a very, very, very good movie. I, I definitely suggest that you go watch it. Um, but the whole, like, power going down. And then, her talking to you kind of stuff, it's the exact same scenario! Now that's all I can think about when that voice comes on! Motion God. trigger, circus gallery vent. I need to be prepared for that. Okay, you said go slow! This isn't the thing, right? No, I have to go through Ballora Gallery, not the vent. Okay, yeah, cool. You will now be required to crawl through the Ballora Gallery using the vent to your left to reach the breaker room. It is recommended that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible as to not disturb Ballora. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. <laughs> God, I wish that you could do that with some people. It's like, you're so annoying. You're causing an auditory inconvenience upon my person. Could you deactivate? And just be like, deactivate, Steve, deactivate. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, so that's what she's telling me not to do because he said go as fast as possible as to not get detected and then she's going to be like, hey, go slow. <laughs> okay, oh, can't see shit, Captain. That's cool, the sound goes around you. You probably can't hear that unless you're wearing headphones. 
I don't know if that actually shows up on YouTube either. Does that music count? Oh god, this is freaky. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I like this. Go away, Twinkle Toes! That's cool. No! Nine! Nine! No, poor It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. Shut the fuck up! Pot kettle black. I know, I get it. <laughs> Jacksepticeye telling someone that they're too loud. But he said, I'll turn myself off as to not cause an auditory inconvenience. Hey, go over there! <laughs> okay, don't pop up in front of my face. I don't like jump scares. She walked in front of me like a fucking T-Rex! Oh, that was cool! I was just about to say, how the hell is she getting around me without me able to see her? Go, 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 go. Fucking big is this place! The door's right there. Just let me go. She is kind of like a T-Rex, because she said if I stop moving, she won't see me. So now she doesn't see this giant spotlight on the floor. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> It was so funny. <laughs> if you were going through, it was like her music will let you know that she's near. And then it was just like, <laughs> like fucking hardcore death metal. It was so fucking awesome. Or just slipknot. I felt the air rise up in me. <laughs> Go away, Ballora! Am I even getting closer? I can hear my stomach rumbling because I'm really fucking hungry. <laughs> no thanks! Yeah! Nice! No jump scares for Jack Boy! You may now interface with the breaker control box. Ooh. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Okay, press place to play mascot response audio. Calm down and go back to sleep. No one is here. Is that fucking Harley Quinn and the Joker interacting? Wait, what do I do? Bonbon? Bon? Go back to your stage. Everything is okay. Oh! Fun time Freddy's there and he has like a Bonnie puppet on his hand. Oh, okay. Wait, where's the fucking breaker thing I have to use? Oh! What? Oh, he moved! Go back! Thank you! Because the danger level is up there on the right. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, they, they restart. Please. Please. Oh! Calm down. I'm oh! Do I have to do all of them? Or have to figure out which one is which? Stop it! Circus gallery. Okay, do I have to do all of them? Let's go back to our stage. Come back, 
please. He's a cool voice. Blood, blood. You must be hearing things, silly. <laughs> that sounds so much like Harley Quinn. I'm gonna get jump scared. I'm gonna get jump scared. Shit! Okay. I'm trying to figure out which one is which. Fun time A, Ballora Gallery, Ballora Gallery. Why the fuck not? Yes, please! Stay over there! Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh! oh fuck no! Her. Go back, you cock! Which one is this? Parts and services? Elevators? Nope. No one is here. Over there oh, elevators! Those I need! Danger level two. Stop, stop, stop. It's giving me anxiety. Let's go back to our stage. But they kind of stay up, which is nice. <laughs> you must be hearing things, silly. Fuck back there! I fuck you back there! Do I really have to do all of these? This is stupid! Oh! No, boy! Now fuck back to your stage! I'll, I'll punch him. I'm not afraid to punch a, fro a Freddy. I like that it's kind of taken some of the mechanics from FNAF 2, though. Oh god, oh god, something lagged. No! Listen to Harley Quinn. Great job. No! This completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery with care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. No, don't make me go back through. Oh, God, that was stressful. That stressed me the fuck out. What's that? That's not Ballora. It's like a snoring kind of sound. I'm not hearing any music. Is someone there? No, I mean. I can hear someone creeping through my room. <laughs> well, uh, aren't I lucky that you're blind as fuck? Why no music? <laughs> the temptation to sprint is huge. Perhaps not. Yeah! Keep that train of thought going! I mean, am I wearing fucking salami on my feet? <laughs> the silence, but the subtle sounds are freaky. What?! I could've just kept walking through that and nothing would've got me! The more you know! <laughs> that was cool! Yay! Oh! Daddy loves As the stories! The sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love rise again? That and more happening now. Happening now! Clara, the baby <laughs> isn't mine! It is Vlad! They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. So what? Lots of kids get hyper and run around and stuff. <laughs> they had to knock him out of the air with a broom. <laughs> I have to go. They're going to dock your paychecks. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't get paychecks. You uh, were at the graveyard uh, uh. shift at the Fry Me Taco. Don't lie to me. 
Oh, the humanity! <laughs> when will the heartbreak end? When will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long lost love? <laughs> Tune in tomorrow to find out. Ah, oh, it's so good! That's good TV right there! <laughs> but, Clara, I don't know what you say! Uh, the fight the, it's Daddy, also like a play. Did you once let me go play with her? She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Who the fuck is that? Okay. Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career, where you it get it. to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> what would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? <laughs> we understand the stresses of a new job, and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. Okay, S. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I was gonna put it Slayer! I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting... Casual Bongos. <laughs> That's what I call my butt cheeks. Now that my your casual elevator bongos. experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. A fucking descent into madness and depression because I'm not getting paid enough. Also, I like how that. I, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, well, when the elevator stops. Are you gonna wait? Are you gonna say more? Night three, baby! We good? Oh, I have to press the button to go out. Okay, so I am gonna leave uh, this episode here. I like that the, the whole Vlad and Clara thing, the vampire and his wife, girlfriend, I don't know. That it's kind of a play on the whole FNAF 1 kind of thing, like, you're working the gra graveyard shift, kind of thing. Well, FNAF 1, I say FNAF 1 because that was the first one that introduced the whole concept of that. Um, and the paychecks getting deducted and all that kind of stuff. I see what you're doing! Um, and it, it's taken a lot of elements from the other games, which is kind of cool, like the whole stopping and listening thing from FNAF 4. The, the going down and resetting stuff from kind of FNAF 3, resetting your audio and that kind of stuff, and also the panels coming up from all the other FNAF games. It's cool! It's very, very different. I mean, it's still Five Nights at Freddy's, of course. Um, but the fact that it's it's changed up the voice actors, again, all I can hear is the portal dude and the robot from Ex Machina. Um, you should go watch that movie, by the way. Very, very good. Um, I, but I, I like the fact that the first and second nights were completely different from each other, so maybe this night will be completely different as well. That, that's pretty cool, and I like the... The, the voices are kind of freaky, like, someone's in there, kind of thing. Um, so, I, I don't know, we'll see what the game is overall. The whole Vlad and Clara thing kind of juxtaposes, I mean, going home at the end of the day is fun and all. And I like the fact that, like, I mean, I'm a sucker for those cheesy drama things when people make fun of them. But the fact that you're just sitting there munching on popcorn kind of juxtaposes against this. I mean, I'm not, I'm not overly scared. I'm tense. I guess you could say that that's all the games have ever been, but I'm not scared. I'm not scared at all. Not even a tiny bit. So, and I haven't been jump scared. I, I seem to have some serious luck when I go through the FNAF games. The first video is always like the first two nights and I get through them without any hassle at all. And then I don't finish them because I keep getting jump scared and cap house the other nights. So, what up with that? Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face. Wake up, us! And high fives all around. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Let's be Ah, uh, you're still there. You're still there. And you haven't shown up yet. Okay, I can survive this. You suddenly see yourself laying in bed, never to wake up again. Your adventure is. I'm gonna say all my fucking bongos! Yeah! <laughs>